All hero stories in America are essentially cowboy stories, frontier stories. So you have Daniel Boone on the frontier, and then gradually with urbanization, the hero moved into the city. So you have the detective and then the science fiction hero. The superhero is sort of the end of that evolution. The world changed from the frontier to the city, but the narrative didn't change. Action Comics number one, minute zero of the superhero genre, contains the primary conventions of the superhero genre. Mission, powers, and identity. Mission, it's pro-social and selfless. The hero doesn't get anything. He's not going for riches. Powers, extraordinary mental, mystical, physical, technological abilities. Then the costume. The costume iconically emblazons, embodies the character's identity. And that's a distinction from other genres. In male genres, the Western, war, detective, it's a rite of order in contested space. Basically, they kick the supervillain out of the city and jail them. In female genres, it's a rite of integration, different classes, different regions, that sort of thing. So Wonder Woman featured love and self-control, and that was specifically to give a hero for girls. So one of the interesting things about the way genres work is they carry our mythology. They enculturate our children, right? They're the way we remember things. Mythical remembrance, not historical remembrance, but the meaning of the past. And so the superhero genre follows American culture.